Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to tie into an existing road. Now on this survey here, we have an existing road here with a junction on the side. What I want to do is extend with a new road out this way. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that our new road uh, horizontally uh, joins in to the without any kink. So basically it needs to be tangential. So we can do this very easily with the center lines and some construction lines. So with the center line, uh, I'm going to uh, hit new center line and start it here. Then I'm going to use the construction line extend tool and extend the end of the road, the existing road that is. So now I can uh, choose my next point by using the snap to any point along the line along the construction line. So uh, I'm going to arbitrarily choose somewhere about here, turn my snap to point off, and then I'm going to bend the road round and bring it up somewhere here, and then spring it along here, say. So it's around the side of this existing building. So the next thing I want to do is curve that out. So use the uh, add arc and select the IP and I can max it out or I could choose a radius. I'm going to max that one out to here for the moment. Then I'm going to curve this one out and just bring it down to something like that. So it's a reasonable curve. Okay. So we've now uh, tangentially joined in the center line. Now the start leveling wise, the start of the road will actually be at that level already and you can see in the long sec in the 3d view that it actually already touches there nicely so the uh, next thing i want to do is work out what the left and the right gradients are on this existing road and that's really easy to do we use the additional tools measure gradient and then i'm going to use the snap and say from the start turn the snap off so the left hand side is going to be one in 56.6 .6. And the right hand side is going to be 1 in 65.8. OK. So now I want to go and add on my channels, curves and footways. Let's do that one. And I need to untick the right is duplicate of left because the gradients are going to be different. So I'm going to use the uh, pick button because I don't know the width. And then I'm going to use the snap to snap to the uh, bottom of channel there, bottom of curb, sorry. So that's going to be 3.2, let's make that. And then the right hand side is going to be, it's probably somewhat similar of 3.23. Okay, so as I said before, we worked out the gradient. So the uh, left one was going to be a 56.6, I think it was. And the right hand side was going to be one in 65.8. I'll leave the curves and footways for the moment. They can be as standard and uh, click OK. There we go. So we now have our channels and curves matching. Now we have this uh, end cap here, which we want to get rid of because obviously we don't want to be driving over a footpath. Um, so the easiest way to do that one is with the centerline properties. And we pick the road and then we say allow start cap. We don't want a start cap, so untick it. There we go. So now we have this uh, road that extends an existing ground. Now, obviously, we the center line when I added it in would have leveled itself to the existing ground here, and because we added in the uh, gradients left and right by using the calculated gradients from the existing ground, they match as well. However, we need to make sure that the long section of this road also ties into the uh, gradient on here. So if I go to the long section and show this one up. So it's at the start. Basically, yeah, they do match already anyway, so I don't have to worry, but I could add in some extra IPs along here to uh, change the um, long section of this road to tie in nicely. And I can also verify using the cross sections here that um, the chain is zero the channels do match nicely. So the road matches exactly the existing ground, which is great. Right, so I'm going to turn on some contours. Let's uh, do this, let's say uh, 0.025, very tight, just to sort of show what's going on. Okay, so we have the um, road set at the existing gradients to start off with obviously i might want to change those so that they go back to something more standard like a one in 40. so the way we do that one is by using the vertical channel mode so i'm then going to add a channel vertical 
transition that is, and uh, pick say the left hand side and say from the start chainage to, I'm going to pick an arbitrary point here, Ooh, snap on to here, to the end of the uh, first curve. So over that length, I'm going to change from 1 in 56 to 1 in 40. Okay, so those crossfalls change slightly. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So from the start to the end of that first curve, I'm going to change from 1 in 65 back down to 1 in 40. And there we go. So the gradients have changed. And it'll transition smoothly over that length. Right, I think that's it. But now we have this uh, smooth transition of this centre line that joins onto an existing road. Thank you.